The problem with them white labels is you can barely see it. John at Big Nose Brewery. And this is a Citra and Cashmere New England IPA. Now he has already warned me in advance that it's maybe past its best and you know what it usually is, you know, any more than a week after um after it goes into the bottle or into the keg or whatever, but you know, it still should have enough fruitiness I believe. Big kiss on it. He's also saying I was getting a little bit clear, but don't worry too much about that. Beer's beer, isn't it? It is clear, isn't it? Wow. Wow, that is clear. Amazing. I mean, you would kill for that kind of clarity. I would kill for that kind of clarity in like a normal beer. And that's in New England I pay. Um, I'm trying to remember. I know we put a, a video up, but I can't remember for the life of me what's in it or how it was done. But Citra and Cashmere, New England APA. That's what we do now. No waffling. Let's just go straight into it. You can see it looks like an APA. Big head on it. Well carbonated as well too. Um, nice big head. Pure white. Oh wow, yes, I have done a Citra and um, Cashmere New England IPA myself as well too after I tried Timmy's because Timmy's was amazing. Still the best beer I think from Timmy, two dates, New England IPA anyway. Oh, it's just fantastic, I really love the combination between those two hops. I mean any, I Dare anyone to disagree that can smell it and tell me that there's two better hops. It just smells like it smells like a holiday. Is what it smells like. It smells fresh and like you should be, you know, drinking something from a coconut, something blue from a coconut. <laughs> Guess I'll realise that was kind of me saying that's kind of really kind of nice and tropical and citrus and kind of fruity and Absolutely fantastic. This is as close as I'm gonna. This is as close as we're gonna go to be on a holiday this year. Just had to pretend you're landing on a beach somewhere. Well, it's not like 10, 10 degrees in rain. On. It smells absolutely amazing. I mean, like the whole video could just be me smelling this beer. What does it taste like though? Let's go. Well in for no he's sneaky on that. Mmm. The taste on it is really kind of, it is kind of uh, citrusy, I think it's more citrusy than it is uh, tropical. It's got like a real kind of taste that you would get from an IPA. Um, a little kind of, it's bitterness, I think it's bitterness. It does actually say, I don't know. It says 28 ABU, which is fairly decent for a New England IPA but it does have that kind of sometimes when you drink IPAs there's this kind of bitterness that you get off it and it's really kind of Moorish type of bitterness it almost kind of I was going to say stings maybe zings a zingy bitterness does that make any sense that's kind of what that has and looking at it now it kind of feels more like a proper IPA rather than a New England IPA. The body is kind of probably medium. Um, I'm not sure what it's 6.3%. Probably medium. It's 
got a little bit of a dry finish on it as well. I think compared to like uh, Timmy's beers, now I know we shouldn't compare to Timmy's beers because they are amazing. His has this really big body on it and I know he puts like, I don't know, I think he was up to a kilo of maltodextrin in it. Um, but that just kind of makes it really thick and with the hops it makes it really, really juicy as well. I said that is, that actually reminds me more of a an IPA, as I've said a couple of times now, than a New England IPA. Really, really nice though. Really nice. Again, I don't know what yeast you've used. It's so clear. It's making me think it's something that has dropped that dropped out. I mean, that's stupidly easy to drink. That's six point three percent, and that does not taste six point three percent. I mean, maybe it's the um, it's just all the hops that are in it, and it's so kind of flavorful that you don't realize the alcohol that is hiding underneath. That is very nice. That is definitely something I would drink. As it is now. Rather than a New England one. I find with New England's they can be a bit I don't know. I want something I can drink. You know, I want more than one or two pints of it. But if you're brewing, I find if I'm brewing like really big. And I think about six basically. Um, especially when it's big and it's thick and juicy like that. It kind of uh, makes me want to drink something else, basically, after a couple of them. Not that I'm bored, I just want something different because it's, I find it a bit much. You know, it's like a full on salt, is what it is. But with one of them, well, with an IPA, I mean, that little bit of bitterness keeps it kind of, keeps it interesting. Oh. You know what, that's a very nice beer. That was a very nice beer indeed. Citra and Kashmir, it's the perfect combination for me. Love it. So, cheers. See ya. Okay, beer two from John. It even says it on the bottle. John of Big Nose Brewery. This is his Bohemian Pilsner, 5.9%. 17 ABU, well, 5.9%. First one of the night. It's, it's always a bit tricky, isn't it? I mean, it looks clear as a bell in the bottle. I can't remember if he said this bottle condition or not, I think it might be, I don't know. Not much going on. Oh wow, look how clear this is. I think he found this, or he put gelatin in, sorry. Same thing, isn't it? To be honest. Oh, smell that. Oh, it smells good. Wow. Impressive clarity. Hello. Yes, there's gelatin in it. But I mean, come on, look, that's what it gets you. May as well talk about the colour. The colour is, n it's not quite, I don't think it's, it's light, but it's not straw light. It's, it's more of a kind of, what's the next one up after straw? I don't know, it's that one. It's not amber. It's not really golden. It's maybe a little bit before gold. Very nice indeed. If you it's so clear that you can actually see all the kind of little bits of um like yeast and stuff I think it is that haven't been kind of haven't been taken out. Wow that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there's a there wasn't too much hiss or there wasn't too much coming off the bottle, but there is a nice little bit of carbonation in there. It's not raging, but there's enough. Helps that this is a kind of cider paint glass. Oh, a little white cap as well, not here on the top. Not that you can't see that, but I'm I'm nothing if not a completist. Okay. On the nose, really nice aroma. It's kind of got this, it's like malty kind of floral type of smell. I'm not sure what's in this. Um, I don't know what 
and I got tall or what it was fermented with or anything. I just know what it says on the bottle that it's a pilsner. There is a very familiar smell of that. 17 ABU it says on it as well. It just, it's, has just caught my eye. Little tiny bit of bitterness on it. It's not much, but it definitely is there. You notice, you kind of notice it with the kind of how clean it is. Um, you notice this like bitterness on the back end. It's not in any way like bitter, and you know the sense that we no bitterness these days. Like I'm sure, like maybe, well, certainly when I was drinking, when I was actually going out, I'm talking about twenty years ago. Um, that would have been a better beer, but. It's not now. It's kind of dry as well. It's got a kind of light to medium body. I already mentioned how clean it is. Very nice. Get that little bit of bitterness in the back end. The taste. The taste is kind of a combination between the malt and the, it's this kind of almost bready type of flavour. And it's got um, like a little bit of floral kind of taste on it. Maybe a little bit of spice as well in there. Maybe comes in at the end with the along with the bitterness. Yeah that is a fine beer. Should really hold it there and then you can see it. That is a fine beer, yep. Yeah. I could handle that okay. Although it is five point nine percent so I think I would get into trouble if I was drinking it because it is very easy to drink. So on a, it's because it's so super clean, it makes it kind of refreshing. And then you just gulp it down like nobody's business. I can confirm that Jonathan Cunningham is a very good brewer, and if he offers you a beer swap, you should definitely do it because the two beers he sent me has been fantastic. So thank you very much sent to me. I can only hope this beer I sent you was half as good as that. Um, I don't have any more to say. Cheers.